I want to be a participant in my child's birth, not the victim of it. I want to embrace the transition that brings this mysterious new love into my life, not fear it. I want to experience the connection between my evolution from an excited, hopeful, pregnant woman into an awestruck, lovesick mom. When else would it ever be as valuable to preserve my own identity and heritage? My values, my personality, my preference, my cultural, my spirituality, to know my very identity will be respected, supported, and encouraged. Then while I'm birthing the very next generation to carry it on. That's why I choose a doula. Childbirth has everything to do with what's happening from the neck up, not what's happening from the neck down. A woman's personal perspective, her own mental standpoint of how she's anticipating her childbirth experience to be has absolutely everything to do with how she'll experience it, whether it be a divine encounter or whether it be a routine procedure and sometimes even panic. In today's culture, we, our modern birthing rooms are very detached and our professional staff are also detached and that's so prevalent that we don't even question the societal flow. And we're comfortable with crowding our birthing rooms with beeping machines and with sterile garb and endless watts of fluorescent lighting, but if somebody wants to come in and hold our hand on a personal level, we feel uncomfortable with that. I've even seen women exhibit behaviors associated with shame because we're not producing merchandise here. We are birthing new life. This isn't about a corporation. This is about your own family network. We are birthing our own legacy, the very next generation of your own investment. And we have every intention of intertwining our lives in the most personal ways, in the most intimate of ways, it just makes sense that the very foundation of welcoming our child into our family would be a deeply intimate and sacred experience and not a cookie cutter routine procedure. She would come over and give me back rubs and pedicures and, and spoiled me like I've never been spoiled before. I was actually surprised at how little I knew about the whole experience just with when I was pregnant with our son I had read the books and thought that I knew everything that I could you go in you have the baby and that's that but she really explained to me you know the details about how your body works and how it gets the baby out and so that was that was probably the biggest difference or what I noticed the most. Doulas are trained coaches. They're trained on how to support the laboring mother emotionally, physically, professionally, collaboratively, spiritually. Trained in all these ways so that the woman who is a thoughtful, caring mother gets the caring, thoughtful mothering that the mother deserves. A doula will meet you in the comfort of your own home. She will supply you with limitless resources, not only just the sisterhood of her connection and the fact that she shares your passion for your child, but things like aids in nursing, massage, mantras, soothing words, imagery, reminding you of all of the incredible education that she's supplying you prior to your birthing experience, helping your partner to participate more fully in the birthing experience. She can help translate what your professional medical staff is telling you that's not familiar in our common layman terms. She can represent you and advocate for you. She can babysit the other kids while you're busy birthing your new one. The options are limitless. The benefit of a doula, I can speak to it twofold, professionally and personally. Um, when I have been present at a birth with a doula, the doula was there to encourage mom cause her to believe in herself when it gets difficult during labor. Um, even though mom's partner is there, having someone who isn't as close to the emotion of it as the parents um, gives mom more confidence and she's there to comfort her and really encourage her through the process. Where as a nurse, the role is to meet the medical needs as well as the psychosocial or emotional needs of mom. 
um, from a professional standpoint at a birth, if I've got a doula there, I know that I can be more focused on the medical needs of mom and not be so worried about her comfort that the doula can actually anticipate the needs that mom has even when she may not be able to articulate them because of her focus on the labor, the doula can um, say what mom needs based on conversation and a relationship that they've built along the way during the pregnancy. So it's really nice for both mom and for the professionals involved in the birth. I just felt so calm when she was there. She just felt like took away fear and was I was able to really um, just be comforted by her knowing that not only had she done the birth process, but that she was knowledgeable, that she provided information that I needed. And even even though I was a doula and I had experienced other a lot of other natural births before this birth, I was when I was in the process of it, I couldn't think through logically what was going on, you know? And so it was so nice for her to just have somebody to say, honey, this is what's happening. This is what we can do. Here are some options. Well, there is nothing wrong with choosing to have a hospital birth, and if that's what makes you feel safe, let's go for it. I'll support you, and it's gonna be the best birth you could possibly have. We need to consider that childbirth and pregnancy are not illnesses, and we don't have to treat them like they are. You're not an emergency situation. You are in a euphoric opportunity.